Hey, what's up? It's Comic95, the savior. And this is one of my men's Japanese journals. I would just be ranting to you and speaking how I feel, telling you how it is. As you can see, I'm not all made up for this video. There's no special filters, no makeup, no nothing. Just me. So don't get on me about my hair. It's okay. <laughs> um, anyway, I just want to... I guess, talk about something that really irritates me um, as a YouTuber. So first and foremost, of course, I recognize as a YouTuber, of course, I'm putting myself out there. I'm putting my business out there for people to look at and or judge me, um, people that don't know me. And I totally understand that. But the one thing that like irritates me more than anything else, like not people insulting me or getting on me about my looks or anything else, but rather... I am so like aggravated <laughs> with people trying to like pry into my life and making assumptions about me or my relationship based off of the information that they've been presented. So for those of you that don't know, everything you see on YouTube is a lie. It's all fake. Everything. I promise you. And that's been like one of the biggest things I've been trying my hardest to try and stay away from because I know it's so tempting. And I've gone back on some things that I've said, like, for example, like, as you guys have seen, I've posted a ton of videos answering, you know, questions with like relationship, dating advice, etc. And to be honest, like, I changed my mind on it for a few different reasons. And the main reason is I'm aware that it brings more traffic to my channel. I want more subs. I want more money. Forget it. I caved in. And... Honestly, I was tired of reading you guys' messages <laughs> because after I made those like few videos, I've gotten so many um, private messages, so many emails, so many comments. And people like, oh, please, please make more videos on this. Talk about that. So it's like, fine, give the people what they want. And in all honesty, I'm kind of honored that people like my advice and want to hear what I have to say. But anyway, getting off subject, the thing that's like really driving me crazy is people believing what they see in other videos and trying to apply it to mine. So I've had like so many people, despite the fact that I have like literally no videos in which you see me like out on dates with my boyfriend or talking about my relationship with my now fiance. And so I just think to myself, why, why are you trying to pick and find things that are wrong with my relationship? And then the fact that, like, it's not even, like, where somebody will message me or, like, somebody that I know, like, oh, like, you know, I'm concerned or worried about this. It's just messy people looking for something wrong in my life to make themselves feel better about what they don't have in their own life. And so what I'm getting at is I've literally read comments. People are like, oh, like, you know, your boyfriend doesn't look happy or he's not doing whatever. And I'm thinking to myself, like, are you me? Are you him? Do you know him? Do you know me? Like, you don't see or know what goes on outside of YouTube. No one is themselves when there's a camera shoved in their face. No one, including myself. If you are hanging out with me and you pull out a camera, my mouth is going to zip. And I'm probably going to want to hide my face. And it's not because I don't want to be seen by other people, but I am very, I don't even like showing myself like how I am right now. I'm super self-conscious, super judgmental and hard on myself. And I think most girls would like to be able, or most people <laughs> would like to be able to see what they're looking like, what they sound like, etc. That's just life. It's human nature. It's how we are as people. So I want to clarify a few things, which I left in a lengthy comment, but I want to say it here too. Any video or photo that you see of my boyfriend or of myself, it was not scripted for YouTube, meaning that we did not have any conversation beforehand. Hey, this video is going on YouTube. Big smile. Act like you really love me and really care about everything that's going on. Act like Japan is so perfect so we can get views. I don't do that. Anytime I take pictures or videos on my dates, they're genuinely simply to show, or, you know, remember, put inside my scrapbook, which I keep a scrapbook and I have a memory box of things that we did for our date. It's simply that. I have no intention in sharing these things with you guys. I do sometimes choose to put stuff into videos or I do sometimes post it to Instagram, but you guys don't see the majority of stuff that I do. I still have pictures and videos that I will never share because they're intimate and personal to me. And also keep in mind that I'm dealing with somebody that's of a different, not only race, but nationality. His culture is different. It's not 
typically like a normal thing for people to want all of their business to be put out there. Vlogging is not very popular in Japan and people are concerned and worried about their personal business being easily accessible on the internet, especially if you're dating or married to someone that has, you know, a serious stable career. It can cost them their job or their friendships or whatever the case might be is personal. And so I respect that. And also, believe it or not, my boyfriend actually does not know about my YouTube channel. He could have possibly come across it or like seen it at some point now, especially since we spend so much time together. And I have like a gazillion notes on videos I want to make and scripts for things that I do, you know, have already made, etc. So he could have seen something, but I've never like sat down and talked with him about my channel. So before you judge things or think that, oh, he doesn't seem enthusiastic, whatever, um, who's getting married, bitch, and who's not? Me. You're not. So, like, don't, <laughs> don't worry about, you know, who's sleeping with me or what I'm doing, et cetera, at home. You don't know my relationship. You don't know my boyfriend. You don't know his personality. And I also want to throw in another thing. So one of the biggest, like, critiques that I got from people was people complaining. I uploaded a video a long time ago, like explaining how I met my boyfriend and like showing random clips from dates that we had. For starts, seeing the fact that it was not a consistent video and literally just a compilation of random clips should tell you right then and there, this was not intended to be a single video made for YouTube, which is why I'm not asking him any questions. He's not asking me any questions. There's no going back and forth. My boyfriend paid for all of our dates. He moved me to Kansai. He moved me into another, he moved me out of soccer house and got me a brand new apartment in Tokyo. Like my, my relationship speaks for itself. I don't need to prove that my boyfriend loves me by being fake on YouTube and doing all these other vlogs like how you see these other girls do. Because these girls that have these vlogs where their boyfriend is all up in their video, which is great and nice for them. I'm glad they feel comfortable, they're confident, and, and they want their channel to be based on that. That's totally up to them. That's their choice. No hate, no you know judging you, just saying that's them. But a lot of those girls, while they have that made for YouTube video, in real life and actuality, it's struggle love. They don't have that real super fun relationship. It's all scripted and for camera. It's not real. So anyway, what I was getting at is most Japanese people actually admire and it's looked upon favorably people that are quiet during dates. People don't like dates that constantly talk and can't just enjoy the meal, enjoy the atmosphere. And while I am someone that has mixed feelings, sometimes on my dates, I do like just to be quiet, enjoy the food, enjoy the atmosphere, or maybe talk about it a little bit. I don't like the pressure of acting like a date is an interview where you have to talk to each other nonstop and pretend like, you know, there's so many, so many things to talk about. The reality is if you're like me and you spend time with your man, like how I do, you don't, I'm sorry, there's so much light coming from back there. <laughs> Let me handle that one second. Sorry. I know it doesn't matter, but like it was driving me crazy and excuse like my messy background guys. Like, like I said, I'm waiting on my food, by the way, I ordered the burrito <laughs> and I'm off right now, and I'm just ranting, but I forget what I was saying to you guys. Anyway, yeah, like, I, I don't find it necessary. We spend so much time together. We talk all the time, and I promise you the moment that my camera gets put away, like, we start talking again. And also keep in mind, I've actually, I don't want to say this because it sounds bad, but just being real, I've trained my boyfriend that when my camera comes out, please don't talk. I always say that to him. Like, I literally, if you guys ever take the time to, like, watch one of my videos on which, like, we're on long road trips, I literally have, like, random points and a couple of them because normally I just don't upload the video where I've had to mute the video because he started talking to me and either said something that was personal about me or that was, like, just weird to hear in the video. So where he's trolling me and purposefully talking because I asked him not to. So again, personal preference. I don't want my video to be, I don't want my channel to just be based on my relationship. I have no problem with sharing stuff about my boyfriend. I have no problem with sharing stuff about my family, but I don't want that to be the sole purpose in my channel. And a big part of it is I won't give any names, but a lot of YouTubers that I looked up to and watched before I came here, I saw how their channel fell apart by them heavily, heavily, heavily marketing their boyfriend especially because it was based on the fact that their partner was Japanese. And so I do want to share aspects of it because, of course, again, it gets views, it makes money, and people are interested and curious. I know I was, too, before I was in an interracial relationship and before I came to Japan. But I also have to realize that by doing that, if things don't work out, because, again, my relationship is not perfect. My boyfriend, my husband, my fiancé, my whatever, he can leave me any day, 
any time, any moment, just like I can. And I don't want to feel like I regret putting too much of my personal business out there or that I, you know, did whatever. And it's not just a matter of not trusting him because I do trust and I love him to death, but I don't, I don't like, sorry. Is my food almost here? Okay. <laughs> sorry, guys. Um, yeah, so like, I, it's just a personal preference, something that I don't want to do. But any way to avoid making this a one-hour video, don't read too deep into stuff. Just because something doesn't appear to be fun and super whatever, it's because my stuff is not scripted like your favorite vloggers, your favorite YouTubers that are here. They can do their own thing. That's nice. They want to waste the time and money and pretend and fake a lifestyle that they don't really have. And now that the light is still like coming through. That's totally up to them, but it's something that I personally do not want to do. I want my videos to be genuine. And when I share videos of my boyfriend or whatever, it's normally he just so happens to be there because we're on a date together. But my purpose in my video is not to show off, hey, look, I have a boyfriend and you don't. It's more so to show this is where I am at. You know, this place is cool. This food is good. That's what I want to do with my videos. I don't even show myself. If you've watched pretty much any of my like vlog-like videos, I literally show you what I'm doing, not myself. Even although I've noticed that based on my algorithm and reviews and YouTube's analytics, you guys apparently like videos in which I show my face. You guys like to hear me talk and see me versus me just showing you Japan. So, all right, easy for me. It's much cheaper, more fun to have my face shoved in the camera, but I always thought that like, people don't want to see you know my big <laughs> my big head in every video and just hear me talk non-stop people want to see where i'm at but nope i'm wrong people actually like a combination of the two and if they can only choose one it seems that people actually prefer to just have me talking so and being able to see me so anyway in case everything else got lost Please stop like saying backhanded compliments like, oh, like everything seems so nice. I hope you guys are still together. Like, like it's not even genuine. Like you'll comment on something that you think is negative. Like, oh, why doesn't your boyfriend do this? Or why doesn't he look like this? Why isn't he whatever? And it's like, why are you so worried about whose dick I suck at night? Like, who's fucking me at night? Like, wh why do you care? Are you jealous? <laughs> so, and then that's another thing too. It's like when people do say and do stuff like that, it makes you regret like sharing anything. It makes you not want to be open and honest with them because you see that people, while they pretend to really like genuinely care about your stance in your relationship, they're just waiting for it to fall apart. I've literally had people already like message my boyfriend like over the course of our relationship and try to flirt with them and send like nudes and just all type of like crazy stuff. People are so disrespectful to YouTubers and online relationships. And I'm aware of that. And so excuse me, like, there's, like, dry skin on my lip. <laughs> and so, like, it, it just, like, really drives me crazy. I hate that people are so disrespectful and so, how do you say, evasive or whatever you want to call it. Like, they want to be so much in your business. And I accept part of that responsibility is the price you pay as a YouTuber, as a vlogger, as a blogger, as someone that, you know, makes journals like this. I totally understand why you want to know what's going on. And that's okay. But what's not okay is when you try to tell me what's wrong with my relationship. I didn't ask for your advice. You're asking me for advice and I'm giving you advice. Um, and again, like even my own relationship, it's not perfect. I have definitely pissed my boyfriend off probably way more times than he asked me. And I can be argumentative. I, I can do messed up stuff. I'm not trying to pretend like I'm perfect and my relationship is perfect and you need to be like me, but rather accept the fact that there are faults, there are problems in people's relationships and their lives, and people don't need you to point out those things. Different people have different personalities, different cultures admire and respect and expect different things. And all of the videos that you see on YouTube are not what they seem to be. A lot of them are fake. Like a lot of the vloggers that you guys watch, they'll showcase their boyfriend and be all happy and excited. And then like one month later, they've broken up and they're sad and now they're going on a streak of just dating and fucking guys. So if those are the type of YouTubers you like, great. But that's not going to be me. So I'm sorry to disappoint. But yeah, it just, it just really like aggravates me. I hate, I really, 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 hate 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 seeing that so much and i really don't understand like why um why why people don't realize that it's problematic to say stuff that it's a backhanded compliment oh like i'm happy for you everything looks great but 
Oh, your boyfriend's so quiet. He doesn't seem happy. I hope you two are still together. And so it's like, what? Or like saying, I really like your video, but your boyfriend doesn't seem very interested in you. So he doesn't seem interested in me because he's not making fake dialogue for the 10 seconds that the camera is on his face. And mind you, I actually tell my boyfriend when I check on my camera, he thinks I'm just taking a picture or video of the food and atmosphere. He has no idea that he's intended to be inside a picture or video. And if you follow me on Instagram for a while, I actually shared a post a long time ago showing videos and pictures from his perspective, in which my boyfriend has taken bogus blackmail off-guard pictures of me, in which he lied to me, making me think he's just taken a photo of the food. So we do the same thing. It's mutual, sweetheart. So <laughs> I'm not trying to act like my relationship is perfect and nothing bad can happen. Yeah, you can be right. He most certainly can one day decide that he's done with me, doesn't want to be with me, we break up, get a divorce, you know, whatever the case happens to be. All right, fine. But again, stop trying to predict stuff. Stop trying to read into stuff. Stop trying to say stuff or assume things that aren't real. And it's very rude and disrespectful to me when you leave it as a public comment. Of course, as a YouTuber, I can delete your comments, but I don't even bother to do that. Like, even when people have left, like, really mean, like, in racist comments, I told you I had people, like, lying in the comments telling people that I was a trans woman. And, <laughs> and people, like, just saying all type of stuff, like, talking about my face, my teeth, my complexion, like, just everything. And, like, going in on me, calling me a nigger, and this, that, and the other. And, of course, I can delete it. And sometimes I do delete comments, like, but I've tried my best recently to, like, just stop and leave it there. I feel like leaving those comments, they do a couple of things. One, it makes me stronger. And two, it's proof that racism exists. Because I feel like when I delete those comments, it, like, adds to the, oh, well, white people are so perfect and wonderful. They love black people. Or Asians love black people. It's like, nope, read this comment right there, ho, since you know so much. And then even with black people, it's not just the Asian and white thing, as I've said before. I have comments on black people saying the same ignorant, stupid stuff that I get from, you know, white <laughs> and Asians as well. So it's whatever. This video is pointless. All I'm trying to say is stop trying to read into my relationship. I am the first person to tell you that it is not perfect. It's full of problems. And most of those problems are my fault. <laughs> and you don't know my boyfriend. You don't know his personality. You don't understand Japanese culture. Every man is different. But in general, most people actually admire people that are quiet and aren't super, super talkative and loud and noisy. And a date is not an interview. We don't have to continuously talk nonstop. We're eating food. We're waiting on food, etc. People are shy. Have you never gone on a date with somebody and you spent the whole time just blushing and smiling at each other <laughs> and not knowing what to say? That's definitely me. I still get butterflies when I go on dates with my boyfriend. Like, it never gets old for me. I love him. He's hot. And I want to fuck him when we get home. So <laughs> that's what goes through my mind. And I'm pretty sure he thinks the exact same thing. While you're worried about everything that's going on, remember, he moved me out here. He paid for the date. He asked me out. He now asked me to marry him and give birth to his babies. So don't worry about me. Worry about yourself. And I'm sorry for those of you that meant no harm, but I still want to correct you because what you're saying and doing, while you might mean well, it's offensive, it's insulting, it's rude. And again, anything can happen. Life can change. Someone that loves you today might hate you tomorrow. It's, life is a mystery. It's just the way it goes. So that's that. Very unproductive, strange, ranty video, but wanted to put that out there. No, my life is not perfect. No, my relationship is not perfect. And my boyfriend does love me. He's not disinterested in me. He, he's the reason why we met each other. <laughs> um, he approached me. He asked me out. He pays for our dates. He asked me to marry him. Don't, don't worry about stuff and quit taking stuff out of context. My YouTube videos, when I am with my boyfriend, the few scenes that you've even seen of me with my boyfriend, they're not scripted. We don't plan stuff. I don't ask fake questions or force him to say, oh, when we're eating ramen. I, I don't do that shit. Just throwing that out there. Not to mention that the stuff that you've seen on YouTube even have all been from previous, like, long time ago dates. I have not posted... I've posted a little bit, but none of those clips he's talking, and you can't even see his face. 
I've posted really old videos showing our first couple of dates in which we barely knew each other and we were super shy and awkward with talking to each other. English is his second language. He's not confident with speaking English. And of course, if somebody has a camera shoved in your face, you don't know why, what, or where they're going to post this, or if they're even recording, why would you just randomly start talking? Like, wouldn't that be kind of weird? <laughs> so that's that. I'm done my rant. I'm going to take this nasty skin off of my lip. I'm sorry, y'all, for being ghetto. <laughs> I need to do my hair and makeup. Although I'm not going to lie, like, I know my skin looks bad, but I'm actually kind of happy because my skin had been breaking out like crazy um, over this past summer. Because I, I think it's because I both stopped drinking so much water and I had either stopped or started taking vitamins again, but whatever the case might be. I'm super happy about my hair, y'all. Like, y'all have no idea. I, I burned the crap out of my hair, um, bleached it, overprocessed it, everything over a year ago. So I'm really happy that my hair is making a comeback. Um, for those of you that are new to my channel, I was not always bald headed. If you look back at my old videos, those are actually not wigs. That's my real hair. My hair was long. It was like down, like past my tits <laughs> what do they call it waist and hair whatever you want to call it now like my hair is like here and here and it's like all choppy and whatnot so i'm growing it back out and i'm really happy and excited about that so that's that and i'll also make another video i um, talking about some other ranty things some of you guys are messy and y'all like that so works for me so that's that sorry you had to see my ugly face Please respect my privacy. I will share about my relationship, the things that I'm comfortable with sharing. But, and I don't mind you asking questions like, oh, is your boyfriend okay? Are you guys together? That type of stuff is fine. But don't like ask backhanded questions, so to speak, backhanded questions where you're like, are you guys still together? Your boyfriend doesn't look happy. It looks like he's fucking another bitch. Like, like why would I answer that question? How like think to yourself. So, <laughs> all right, guys. Thank you for watching. Bye.